what's up everybody mike the crown alliance uh aka uh zumbi tactical zumbi training so people see me as that on ig um but crown alliance also heavy at crown alliance give us a like follow share um but i want to talk about body armor um today um you saw recently saw a short i put on where i was shooting some body armor um basically what happened uh, is i uh just moved back uh from abroad in 2017 was uh going through old boxes and i found uh these two old plates that i used to wear when i was running around afghanistan and uh in iraq between um between 2003, four, all the way around 2011, and the latest in uh, 2018, 2019. So, um, <clears throat> but didn't wear didn't wear these in the later in the latter years, but <clears throat> in the early days, I was issued this plate, which is a, a ceramic plate with some um, with some coating over the top. I think this is. I, don't, I can't remember which company this is. There's nothing on it. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, this has a uh, a couple layers over to catch the spalding, and it's got a single-piece ceramic inside. Um, and then, you know, with this one, this is a titanium plate. I purchased this one to give myself a little bit lower profile. Actually, I pulled this out of my uh, issued... issued uh, vest because i was looking like stay puff so um and jumping in and out of uh, met different methods of transportation i needed uh, a slimmer profile and i needed to be a little bit more agile so went to running a plate carrier my first plate carrier was diamondback tactical had a uh a ballistic panel on the inside shout out to diamondback currently known as tier um but <sighs> It served me for many years. I just just got rid of it recently because it was starting to fall apart. But um, you know, I dug that out of a box also. But um, you'll see how these these uh, these different plates uh, fare up against uh, Green Tip Five Five Six Winchester and uh, One Hundred Twenty Four Green Ball Winchester. So you know, <clears throat> with this being a to mimic like a steel plate you'll see how when the uh, bullet hits how this material catches the spalding and whatnot um and how long it takes to stand up and then you know these plates are well this plate is close to 20 years old this one is about 10 to 12 years old and you know plates have an expiration date these have to x-ray them to see if they're still good from dropping crack and what what have you i used to give them a shake to see but it seems like these have been um fairly well preserved um so let's get to the other videos and um let's see how they fared up so we out at the range i got some plates that i used to carry back in the day when i was uh in our afghanistan um back in 04 we're going to see what it does against pistol first and then we're going to see what it does against some uh 556 five, green tip a little bit of distance you come over here Oh, no, no, you good, you good. All right, five shots, 124 green Winchester. Let's check it out. Like I said, these are from 2009 when I was in Iraq. Still holding up. It hit. Look, we got a little bit of penetrated. We got some back face or back face defamation right here. You see that? All right. Let's take a couple more shots. Still talking about a 12 to 13 year old plate. I got a shot. 
shelf life on these, but I'm just testing it out. Like I said, found in the box, it's been preserved pretty good. got like a, a polyurethane exterior ceramic tiles on a, one full piece of ceramic on the inside the thing about ceramic is as soon as it gets hit it breaks if it cracks here it'll crack all the way across but the newer technology now they have bricks in different spots all right so if one one piece is hit it doesn't affect the whole plate but check this out penetrated the outer exterior Got a lot more defamation, but the ceramic caught it in the rear. Right? So, let's see what green tip does. Alright, so, 14 and a half inch barrel. Going for the ceramic now with green tip. Five shots. Let's go check it out. Green, fit, green tip defeats this. It's a good thing back then, you know, the other guys didn't have what we had. But again, I'm hitting up here close to the edge. You see how that ceramic is uh, crumbling on the inside? That's what happens. It gets cracked here. It defeats the whole plate. Newer technology is different. So as you can tell, some of those green tips went through. You can look back here where you saw it pass through and hit the ground, even though the hole may be small through here, I can't tell. But a lot more deformation. The closer it was, it ricocheted up, came through. And that's ceramic. Forty-five. Looks like it stopped the cold. You got a little bit of flex on that titanium plate here. Let's put some more rounds on it. So, got about 30 rounds on here so far. Just pistol. Plates holding up. Got, got some nice little indentations in there. But, there's the back. Nothing. Titanium. This is over uh, 17 years old. All right, let's get the 556.
10 rounds. Let's check it out. All right, I think I defeated it. 40. I think I defeated it. So we got a hole there. I was drilling it in one spot, as you can tell. That was about 10 rounds, it broke through. That's green tip. All right. Well, she lasted longer than I thought. But who's gonna stand there and keep getting shot in the same, pot, same spot? I have to get hit one time, you want to move. Let's go. Or not get hit at all. Zoom be tight.